Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to show with you guys. I know exactly what's in here, uh, and I'm really excited to get into it. Uh, thanks so much to the people who sent this. We're going to get into it here in just a second. Uh, thanks to my generous patrons for supporting me. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. I will make sure that their website is linked for you guys to check these out. Uh, definitely, definitely something uh, most of you are going to want to take a look at. Okay, how's this is a weird box. How do we get in here? Let me make a quick cut over here. Probably right there. That's probably good. And then you know what? However, it's supposed to come apart. There we go. That'll work. What do we have here? Oh, yes. I think many people will um, recognize that logo. We have something here. We have a few more things. Oh, they sent me... They sent me bits too. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Okay, and then we have some we have some stickers. Yeah. So this was sent by the Good Screw Company, which if you're not familiar with them, like if you're listen, if you're into knives, you probably you probably either have or need a driver. If you are newly getting into this hobby, you need a driver. You don't necessarily have to get the nicest, flashiest, craziest driver, right? There are good drivers that work for a little bit of money. But you can also, because this is the world that we exist in, right? If you don't know, you're watching a channel who's, uh, you know, the, the creator, the foundation of this channel, the person who runs this channel is definitely a knife enthusiast, which means I, uh, <laughs> I like to entertain the over the top, right? Um, this type of stuff exists and it's... Really neat. I'm glad it does. Oh, here, check out all their social media. There we go. Nice slow deal there. Open it up, complex. Stop talking. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm a big fan of uh, Titanium Damascus. Look at that. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, sick. Oh, man. That is, this is so ridiculous. So I'm pretty sure the idea here, uh, so I have one of these drivers and it's excellent. I, I use it all the time. This one's a bit different. I'll show you my original one. So here's the one that I have, right? So then we got a shorter one here, which is fine. This one I've been using. Also, my kids love it. <laughs> they think this is like the coolest thing ever. Magnetic driver. Here's the other thing, guys. I'm sure that you're, if you're new to this, I'm sure you're thinking, dude, that's titanium Damascus. That's got to be freaking crazy pricey. Actually, not nearly as bad as you'd think. I don't know how good screws pulling this off, but um, yeah, these are substantially less expensive than you might guess, right? This whole freaking thing is made out of Timascus. Look at that. <laughs> like a revolver. I'm not a gun guy. But um, anyways, the idea here is that it mounts. So it can act as like a, uh, it, it sits and then can... <laughs> Yes, that's so cool. So the uh, so this guy down here will hold like let's say there's certain um, bits that I find that I'm always using. This is all magnetic, and they told me like this is all working just fine. But they said that they were going to slightly alter the magnets used in this one, um, in the like versus versus the final production version of this because these are not this particular thing is not available yet. But they're going to slightly alter the magnets so that, look at that. These all hold right there. Dude, th I love this, man. Oh, man, that's so smooth. <laughs> look at that. This is ridiculous. That'll just keep going. Um, so, yeah, here, let me get this thing going and then I'll talk. Um, but uh, the, uh, the magnet in this guy, I realized I want them both going. Uh, the magnet in this guy will be altered so that it accepts, like magnetically it accepts other bits a little bit better. I guess there's some issue potentially with some oddly, like some bits that are coded and this or that and it messes with the polarity, I don't know. So anyways, the, the actual production versions of this that are available when you guys can grab them, it'll have a better magnet in it. This works just fine for me because I'm only gonna use their, their bits, right? But yeah. 
This is, <laughs> this is super cool. And yeah, it's completely and totally unnecessary, right? But I mean, 90% of my content covers knives that are totally overkill. Completely and totally overkill. Otherwise, my channel would be called Buck 110. Look at all these Buck 110s. And then I would just have a thousand videos covering the Buck 110. Wow, well, that sounds great, right? Um, but yeah, no, uh, this type of stuff is super epic. Man, oops. This is uh this is absolutely gorgeous. Are these this part down here is not magnetic. Sorry. It's the magnet in the driver. I was thinking I couldn't tell but just the weight of the thing falling in there. But this that would actually be kind of cool if this was magnetic, but it would kind of be unnecessary, right? Uh so it's the magnet in this that they're going to improve. And the idea here if you're wondering like why do you want a bearing in that? It's so that when you're backing screws out, you can literally just flick it like this and it'll just they'll, instead of like you know, putting all the effort, I know, right? We're at the point where it's an effort to manually do each turn. Instead, once it gets loose, you can just turn it like that and it'll back the whole screw out, which has been great. That driver, when I do my own maintenance off camera, these bearing drivers have been excellent. I love this and I also love that I now have the holder. This is absolutely something that I'm going to keep because it just, it keeps everything nice and neat and then I'll put, whoops, throwing it all over the place. It keeps everything nice and neat and then I can keep the, you know, the Torx uh, bits that I use the most, I can keep them all right there. That's really cool. What is this? What's inside this little tool thing? Are these extra bearings? Yeah, I think that's what that is. Probably what's in the head cap for this guy. Yeah, I think so. Look how beautiful that is. Uh, with the good screw that on, on this one the good screw logo is in there on my old one. It wasn't but that's cool and Man, I think I like this one more <laughs> I think I like this one more than my like especially the top there. That's beautiful I'm a huge fan of that and then man this thing is so unbelievably vibrant I mean even though that I, now I've got my ugly nasty fingerprints all over it I'm just gonna give you guys a good look at every last little part of this. Very, yeah, sorry, I've got fingerprints all over it. So you can see, once it's shined up, the difference in vibrancy, right? Man, that is just ridiculously cool. <laughs> I bet this probably could hold pretty much anything, right? Uh, yeah, so, even if you wanna just buy the base, right? As a, it'll fit a quarter inch, so I've got a couple of different drivers here, a couple of Wias. Right, same thing. That's neat that they make it. I mean, like any, of course, anything that's quarter inch is going to be modular with anything else that's quarter inch. But um, yeah, huge fan of this. This is epic. So when will these be available? I don't know. But like I said, I'm going to link. Um, I'm going to link their stuff down in the uh, description so that you guys can go take a look. Follow them on Instagram. I know some people are like, "Well, I don't do social media." That's fine, but. If you're wondering, like, how do these people get their hands on this stuff so quickly? It's because they're following them on every, you know, social media platform. And I understand not everybody has time for that, but that's just, I mean, that just is factually the case with the people who are getting this stuff right away. Um, so this video serves as a, hey, this is going to exist. Here's your reminder. Make sure that you're checking out their website and all of the information that they've made available there. I don't think I had any additional info to give you guys, so that's gonna be pretty much it. You will definitely see this thing in future videos down the road because I'm gonna keep it and use it because I like my old one so much. Um, am I gonna do some type of giveaway? I think I think it probably, may, I mean, I love that I have two Timascus drivers now, but I, I can't you know sit here and say that I <laughs> truthfully need two drivers. So I'll have to decide which one of these I'm going to keep. And then, yeah, I will give the other one away for some special events in the uh, near future. So anyways, thank you so much to Goodscrew for uh, sending these in for me to share with everybody. Really cool. Make sure you guys check them out. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.